Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are back at Fiera Wetlands and it is supposed to storm at uh, starting about 9 a.m. and sunrise is at 7.15 and it's currently about 7.10. Uh, it's super windy this morning and uh, you pr it's gonna be overexposed. There's a really beautiful looking sunrise over in that direction. And uh, Egret just flew right over our head. <clears throat> it's super windy and I had a lot better luck yesterday um, with the 100 to 500 and there's not a lot of light. So I'm just gonna put the 100 to 500 on and with all this wind, I'm probably not gonna change lenses today. You never know, I'm, I may. Uh, but we are gonna head over here to the wetlands. When we first entered the wetlands, I went over to the right and made some photographs of some egrets, including this 25,600 ISO shot of an egret as it was flying in. There was really interesting light in the morning because it was sunrise and there was a storm coming. So the light was really interesting and beautiful. And these egrets, and there was also some terns that were hanging around in this area that I didn't photograph until later on, but I did enjoy photographing the great egrets there to the right of the entrance at Vieira Wetlands that morning. We have a reservation at a fancy restaurant called Steakhouse 71 at Disney World uh, after we leave here. And it looks like my, I'm gonna have kind of a windblown look because yeah. it is windy <laughs> as can be. Sun's starting to come up a little bit from right over here and we're kind of, I, th I think this little island right behind us is kind of the main rookery of this place. And uh, a I bet a 150 white ibis flew off that way into the wind earlier. And we started out down at the far corner um, and made some shots. And now we've kind of come up here to the rookery. There's two spoonbills you can, you can kind of see onto the island. Um, we saw two spoonbills just walking around over there and we've seen another one in flight. I don't know if we got any decent pictures of it, but all sorts of cool birds. And uh, over here in this little flat area uh, have been some deer wandering around. So this place is awesome. Heather, are you seeing, I'm, I'm seeing you holding up three digits. What are you telling Yeah, there's three spoonbills. <clears throat> you see them down there, just kind of, there's well, one that you can see right now on the island just kind of that's awesome walking around. he needs to get up and hover right here in front of us for about five minutes so we can finally get a good shot yeah. all right back to work <laughs> as we walk back to the left we pass this very wind-blown looking great blue heron that was there on the shore at Vieira wetlands fishing and heather said spoonbill and i looked up and there was a spoonbill flying almost right over my head and i managed to get this shot of the spoonbill as it flew by in very interesting sunrise light so i was really thrilled with that you know the spoonbill was the the main bird we wanted to find when we went to Vieira wetlands and was so fortunate that we were able to see a couple here's another one flying across kind of low and that was really really nice to see the spoonbills now look at this the top two birds and the back bird and the bottom bird those are all little blue heron the white bird is another little blue heron but it's a juvenile and the other two birds are tricolored heron in this photograph and here is a photograph of the wind-blown great blue heron as it was standing on the side of the bank there at Vieira wetlands i guess it was waiting to do some fishing although it wasn't doing it very actively we saw another palm warbler bouncing around on the shore there at Vieira wetlands seems like that might be the official small bird of central florida in january we saw them all over the place and then another spoonbill flew by and you can see the sky is starting to get darker. The rain is coming and I managed to uh, get a few shots of this spoonbill as it flew by and I'll share my favorite two with you right here. I guess the second one of those two is probably my favorite of them all. I like the wing position in this shot, but you know, gosh, it was really cool to see some spoonbills and then they kind of settled down and Heather pointed out over across on the island, kind of where the rookery is, that's a bunch of uh, black vultures, but there's also two spoonbills just kind of hanging around over there and chilling. And I saw some birds flying really high in the sky and I switched to my 800 millimeter lens and I made this identification purposes only photograph of an adult bald eagle that was flying around there. 
And then you can tell things are starting to get boring when I start making photographs of turkey vultures that are flying around. So things were kind of starting to slow down, but stay tuned because things get really cool again a little bit later on in this video. It's starting to rain a little bit. And you know, if it was just me here by myself, I would probably stay until it was pouring rain before I started heading back to the car, but I'm here with Heather, so we're starting to go back in the general direction of the car. You can see over in that direction, really dark skies. Of course, back over here where the sun is rising, you know, we could, when the sun first came up, we could see the sun, but the storm clouds have rolled in. So anyway, we're heading back to the car. I don't know if we're done, but we're definitely heading back to the car. And who knows, this thing might blow by, so we may sit in the car for a little while. I, we stopped and got breakfast, but our hotel's only about two minutes from here, so I've only had like two sips of my coffee before we got here, so we may sit in the car and I might sip my coffee and maybe this little storm will blow past. We were driving in and I was looking and there's all sorts of residential places just right by this place. You know, back home I get to go to Harrison Bay State Park, which is really great for bird photography, but it doesn't have anything on this place. So those people, if they happen to be into bird photography, can get here in two minutes or less. I'd be here, I'd be here every week if I lived close. We haven't seen any gators this morning. We saw a lot yesterday evening as the sun was setting, but as the sun's coming up here, or would be coming up if it wasn't behind those clouds, we haven't seen many gators. Here's a great blue heron, just right there. Hello, Mr. Heron. Of course, we have those back home that are easy to photograph. Look who I found. It's windy. It's windy? Yeah, it's windy. Ah, it's not windy. <laughs> okay, it's a little windy. It's pretty windy. Still raining just a little, not much yet. I figured by the time, if we started when we started, by the time we got to the car, It'd be we would be getting soaked, but yeah. it's still just a sprinkle. And the wind's blowing so hard that way, I can feel the sprinkle on the back of my legs. Yeah. Here are Heather's photos from the morning. She really struggled in the wind, but she did make a couple of really beautiful photographs of the great blue heron that was there on the side of the wetlands fishing. And here are those. We love to photograph great blue heron, especially getting these up close headshots. And Heather also made a photograph across the way at the island, and she managed to capture five spoonbills over there as well as a black vulture. We just saw three American white pelicans like we saw hundreds of back home about a month ago. I'll put a link to that feeding frenzy video, but it was cool to see them again, even though we did only saw two or three and, and only saw them for just a second as they flew by. And we had our cameras put up basically. Well, we went back to the car and chilled out for a while. It rained for a pretty good while and it's got just the briefest paw, so I'm gonna go back out and shoot for a minute. And then after that, it looks like it's gonna rain for the next three hours, but I'm going back out. When I went back into the wetlands during the rain, I went to the right, to the location where I was before, and there were lots of turns flying around. This is a Caspian's turn, and so is this. And there was a lot of wind blowing left to right, so the birds kind of flew from right to left and almost hovered right in front of me. It was really cool. Here is a great egret doing the same thing. Now it was 100% overcast by this time with the light rain going on. And so to expose the bird correctly, I had to basically blow the sky completely out. So these are almost high key photographs for lack of a better description, but it was fun making these photographs. Now at the very right hand side of the wetlands, there's this pipe that flows in. The, the Vieira wetlands is kind of a water treatment facility that also happens to be a wildlife area. And here you can see a great egret on that pipe with the water pouring in and you can see the rain. And I also made a video clip of this, but you can't see the rain in the video clip, but in the still image, you could see it pretty well. But this is, uh, you know, the water comes in through this big pipe and it flows all through Vieira wetlands and it brings in lots of wildlife. So here is another Caspian's turn 
as it is flying through Vieira wetlands. And this is old golden slippers. This is a snowy egret and you can see it flying around. I was really thrilled with this one because it had something in the background besides sky. And so you could see the bird better. And all of these pictures, there's rain going on, but only the ones with something dark in the background can you actually see the rain. Here is another Caspian's turn flying around there. I, I guess they were looking down and fishing uh, in the water that was below them. I'm not exactly 100% sure what they were doing, but they were awful beautiful. And uh, I enjoyed photographing them. I took uh, hundreds of photos and I just picked my favorite ones. Now this bird here is a different one. This is a Forster's turn. It has a black beak where the other ones had an orange beak. And that was the only decent Forster's turn photograph that I made. And here is another great egret flying over in that same area. And, you know, I, we have great egrets back home in Tennessee, but nowhere near as many as they do down in Florida. And here's the last photo. It's a great egret on the side of the bank of the wetlands looking very, very derpy. How do we look? Do we look like we're ready to uh, go eat at a fancy restaurant? Oh yeah. No. Well, uh, we've been in the car for a few minutes. The rain is really picking up. And uh, I took a moment and watched Adrian Alford's new video that I've been meaning to watch for over 24 hours, but we've been doing uh, lots of driving and photography. So I hadn't had a chance and it was awesome. And I think now we're gonna sign off from Vieira Wetlands. Probably won't get back here for at least a year but gosh, this place is so awesome and uh, can't wait to come back. So thanks for watching. Heather and Phil here at the rainy parking lot of Vieira Wetlands, Rich Grissom. Are you messing my hair up? <laughs> I just realized it was sticking straight up. Uh, I had it just right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Hope to see you in the next one from Walt Disney World.